So I wanted Slack on this computer because I have a uh, free code camp group I'm a part of and some other groups I'm in and I wanted to you know have Slack and talk to them. Now I did also try the Slack term terminal application but I noticed that the refresh time on the messages was just abysmally slow and there was next to no functionality and Slack is resource heavy excuse me and it was just a bit obnoxious but it's it is what it is I prefer to just use slack and it works just fine um, so what I did is I installed it from the AUR I installed it from the AUR and after you uh, install it and go to um, wherever you're holding the program you go into that git repo and you do make package dash si it builds the package and then all you need to do from that point is just say slack and it will open up slack huzzah here we go so one thing to know is that um, by default it's going to be linked to the terminal so if i did that slack you can see that the terminal stays open and it owns that process now i talked about the disowning process stuff in another video like if i close the slack window okay great but now this is still bound to Slack because Slack, as you can see, is up here. So I currently still have it open. It's still in the background. But this that process is still bound to this terminal. So I don't like that because I don't want to have a bunch of terminals just floating open with the process that's owning over there and still running. So what I did is I made, uh, I didn't make a script. Um, I actually just bound, uh, I changed the hotkeys in my i3 config um, I didn't like, I mean, the I still have it right here, the ones that Luke has um, already set for um, the gaps. I never used it. I, I don't really use use it at all for the most part. I typically just even remove the gaps with you know doing that. Um, but I removed the, hot, the key bindings for mod S and changed mod S to Slack. And then if by adding the and disown, it disowns Slack from the terminal process. Uh, which means that the terminal can go back to doing whatever it wants and Slack just works in the background. But what this also means is that if I don't even open the terminal to type the command, I can just do mod s, which I'm going to do right now, and it will just start Slack with no terminal at all because it just, it, it's basically saying open the process or open a terminal, call Slack, disown it, and then close the terminal because it doesn't even need it. So it just executes the command. And so that's all I have for my Slack setup. Like I don't even need to have a shell script written for this. It's just bind it and disown it. And there it goes. And it just runs in the background now. Now, if I want to uh, end the process, I actually have to go over here um, and quit. But yeah, that's it. And so that, that's what I have right now. And it works for me. Um, it's better than Slack term because that, that I, there was barely any functionality in that application and I did not enjoy using it and its refresh rate was just nah. Not to mention setting it up was a pain. Um, there's some issues with like the API tokens and just how you access the Slack channels you're a part of. Like if I wanted to talk to different Slack channels, I would need an API token for each one. And apparently these tokens are legacy and are not really gonna be around for much longer or they're just not supported that very well or people don't want to give them out so luckily the guy who runs my code group gave me a token to test this out and uh, within minutes i found out oh this is not great so i just ended up downloading slack from the aur and working with that and that's where i'm at and it works for me so let me know if you've done anything similar with slack or what you got going on and that's all for now Till next time